What are the pros of ASIC mining? An ASIC miner is an application-specific integrated circuit miner. It's a purpose-built machine. It's a custom computer. It's basically a little robotic employee that could earn you passive income 24-7, 365. Does that not pump you up? Because I get a little excited. Most notably, Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency in the world ever, and just a crazy asset class, is ASIC mined. So you can buy these computers and start mining Bitcoin and basically earn money while you sleep. So what are the pros? We could talk about the cons, but let's just focus on the pros in today's video of the pros of ASIC mining overall, but even more specifically, the pros of ASIC mining for you as an existing or potential crypto miner. My name is Vosk, I mine full time. You're on the Vosk One YouTube channel. Let's dig into it. So I used to be a diehard GPU miner. It means you're mining with graphics cards and even CPU mining. Those are multi-purpose hardware. But when we look at ASIC miners, and I said I wasn't gonna do this, but we try to ignore these ASIC miner manufacturer practices, which largely include price gouging and releasing a model while already having a better model in their pocket. What is really cool about ASIC miners though, is the fact that they are purpose-built machines, right? And ASIC is a chip dedicated to a specific function, to put it simply. And these ASIC miners for, say, Bitcoin, the SHA-256 mining algorithm, even more specifically. Bitcoin, again, only think of note there. But the fact is, is simply that this is an investment in Bitcoin's infrastructure, in their ecosystem. And eventually you end up with millions and millions and millions of dollars of mining hardware, at least on these major cryptocurrencies, deployed. What does that bring you? That brings you a ecosystem where why would these miners be bad actors and try to do something like a 51% attack, right? Because they're invested in your ecosystem and they could try to attack it, abuse it, and maybe get like a short-term profit, but then they'll degrade the currency and it won't be worth anything and their investment is basically null and void. So basically what I'm saying is, is if you buy a Bitcoin miner, it's pretty much only good for mining Bitcoin. So why would you try to abuse Bitcoin? If anything, you should be trying to add value to Bitcoin. Buy some Bitcoin miners, right? Spin them up, start mining some Bitcoins. And then what you can do is get out there, write an article, make a video, get your TikTok on if you're young enough, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm aging. I'm like a, I'm a crypt. I feel like a crypto boomer these days. Anyway, uh, point is, right? There's other cryptocurrencies that have committed to mining, like Cadena or Nervous Network CKB, most notably have openly committed to mining. And they have ASIC miners on their network from numerous manufacturers. And you could buy the coins. Cool, that's great. You could sit on them. And both of those actually have a couple ways now you can kind of deploy your capital, try to earn interest on them, and, and get your coins to work in for you and essentially you know, increase your holdings. Right, But what you could also do is instead of buying a thousand coins, you could spend that USD or whatever fiat you have that you would have spent on a thousand coins, spend it on, say, a mining rig, right? Just one mining rig. And over the next year, you mine 1,100 coins, okay? You sell them, and then you're back to break even. The, the 100 extra you mined, you also sold to cover your electric bill, and bam, so you're at zero. You don't have a thousand coins yet, but you have paid off hardware. And then say over the next year, you mine another 1,000 coins, and now you own a piece of mining hardware. You're invested and truly entrenched in the ecosystem here, and you also have an income generating asset there, and you earn a passive income, you're stacking up coins, sweet. One of the other big things, is that people can't really flip-flop, especially if you're the only notable coin on your mining algorithm and it is designed so unique that ASIC miners built for it cannot be switched over and mine something else. What does that result in? It re results in long-term steady hash rate, which provides you a secure ecosystem and you end up with long-term miners, long-term holders, investors, and they are the ones getting those coins over a long period of time. And you would like to naturally think that they are more invested, that they are 
focused on the long term and basically just they're committed to the project ultimately strengthening it but the fact is the takeaway is here um just that this isn't just some weird spin i'm trying to do uh, I'm, i don't have any investments in asic minor manufacturers if you saw my video like a year or two ago where i did buy some canon stock i've since sold that and taken profit on it just to be very clear and i'm not planning to like buy the second i um, quit recording this video i don't move markets like that as much as that will be exciting but as always it's not financial advice but my point is i wasn't paid to say any of this uh, we do have affiliate and referral links um i guess at this point i might as well put them down in the video description below uh, so if you do go out and buy miners or even just even anything off of Amazon or eBay, then you can support the channel and we get a small percentage of that and it helps further content creation here on the tube. The next thing I wanna talk about is too seldomly done and it's what Futurebit did with their Apollo BTC miner. An incredibly unprofitable, but so cool functioning and looking device. Except that one time it broke for a little while, but then it kind of fixed itself. Watch that video if you care at all. But the takeaway is, is that that was a little mini Bitcoin miner. What did that do? Decentralized the hash rate. Awesome, great, love that. Then they integrated a node, a full node. So basically on a proof of work blockchain, to put it simply on, this is applicable to many coins, you have the mining aspect, but you also have nodes, which is basically a computer or a computer server, and it's running the blockchain. They made a miner that also had a full node in it. That is the decentralization and just empowerment, making crypto mining and these blockchains anti-fragile. That was f cool. That, that, that is badass. And it's not the first time they did it. They also did it with uh, their Litecoin uh, miner model. And I'd love to see so much more of that. I would happily, personally, pay extra for that to have that integrated to at least one of each of my miners that is on a specific cryptocurrency because I am, I'm down, I'm in. Like, I wanna support these cryptocurrencies, but I want it to be ideally a little easier, and I don't wanna have additional hardware on top of the mining rigs. I think it's a great way to just integrate it, and you basically have an all-in-one, imagine an all-in-one Bitcoin box. It functions as a Bitcoin miner, it functions as a Bitcoin node, it functions as a Bitcoin wallet. It's everything you could ever want or need yeah i'm all about it and that doesn't even really have to be so centric to asic miners i love to see multi-purpose hardware like gpu mining rigs come with functionality like that as well obviously you can build that yourself yes and that's great and should be done but i don't think we have enough support for just hardware manufacturers on that front but it is a very turbulent rapidly advancing and changing evolving ecosystem that is cryptocurrency and i didn't even say the v word it's not boss coin, it's volatile. I personally feel like I'm actually one of the most outspoken people against ASIC minor manufacturers because I think they do way too much bullshit and just way too many things wrong. And they need to be better actors to help grow the space and make ASIC mining just a healthier, not only just simply investment, but just like ecosystem. Because you don't have that flexibility of of just you know going to another coin if these minor manufacturers they they get a model right and it's good they could just keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping these miners out until it's not profitable for anyone at any electricity rate most notably some people weren't here then it's been a little while but bitmain who is arguably the biggest and most popular asic miner manufacturer today then ever created so many ant miner d3s which my dash and the x11 mining algorithm that it was no longer profitable to freaking mine the coin and i got one early i went from making 120 dollars a day to a couple days later 80 dollars a day and then the profitability kept trending down instead of making like 80 bucks a day it was making like 80 cents a day and it burned more than that in electricity and unfortunately it ended up being one of the worst cryptocurrency investments for me and many others in the space and it's not that miners should be guaranteed just a bunch of sweet cash and easy money passive income baby let's go it's it's just that it needs to be fair to, to some sort of degree where basically the asic miner manufacturers aren't being too greedy because if they do get too greedy then everyone suffers the ecosystem suffers and it's just it's just a terrible situation to put it simply then there's the point of just simple exposure maybe you think 
a specific ASIC miner is just within your price range and you want to get into mining, maybe you think it looks cool. Maybe you just want to try mining for, you know, whatever reason. Maybe you want to put it on your desk at work so you can look cool. Maybe you are just, you know, completely pulled in by the potential earnings per day. It's a very profitable mining rig, you know, at least at the initial mining profitability projections, right? So all those different things, no matter what kind of gets you in the door, it ends up with exposure to that specific cryptocurrency. It's Cadena miners that have got me looking at KDA and their entire ecosystem, not just the mining profitability, which has treated all KDA miners well, especially in recent history, but the fact is, is that, you know, this serves as a new entry point. And this is one of the things that just made me so upset and mad, grumpy, and just sad about Ethereum moving away from mining is the fact that they will no longer have that exposure. And if you want both, why not operate a hybrid blockchain? Have proof of stake, have nodes, have staking, distribute rewards, lock up capital, get some more nodes on your blockchain that do more things and whatever else, but then also have mining rigs that process transactions and decentralize your network. The point is, is simply that these miners to that first user will introduce more people to that specific cryptocurrency. But then also, that miner may not stay with that person forever. They may sell it. And then it goes to another person. Maybe that uh, per the next person, that mining rig, it's their first mining rig. And now they're introduced to mining. And what do they have to do? They need to figure out, you know, how does this coin work? Where can I trade it? What wallets support it? And before you know it, you got a new user in your ecosystem and it was because of a mining rig. And maybe that new user gets into your ecosystem and maybe that ecosystem is a blockchain that's a platform. And then there's DeFi, decentralized finance, dApps on it. They start making decentralized trades. They collect some NFTs and bam, then they start coding it up and they launch an impressive smart contract or decentralized application on that project. And it was entirely rooted and born out of the fact that they were exposed to it and interested and pulled into that ecosystem because of a miner. And again, that doesn't necessarily have to be an ASIC miner, but an ASIC miner only points to one algorithm, which is most often just simply one coin. Just like it's time for me to point you to that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my take on this. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk Coin YouTube channel. I'm just an employee though. I work for Tails Vosk, the cutest pup in the world, and our CMO operating director and any other cool C title or whatever you want. If you love those titles or hate them, guess what? She's got them. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, please. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts for or against ASIC miners. If you think this is way too pro ASIC miner, don't get upset. I'll also create everything that's wrong with ASIC mining video. So seriously, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.